Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Hot Zone. I'm your host, Jason Robinson. And in The Hot Zone today, we've got the stars of the hit NBC show, New Amsterdam, Prima Ajima, and Ryan Eggdahl. We're going to speak to both of them about the success of their show, about important topics covered throughout the season, like systemic racism and COVID, and whether or not their characters, Max and Helen, will finally get together in the season finale. All that and more, so stay tuned, because you're in the hot zone. I can't be your friend and your doctor and your deputy, so I have to choose. I, I have to triage us. I'm going to ask Dr. Staunton to take over from no. me. She's an <laughs> exceptional oncologist. No, no, no you don't. She'll be I, your new I, doctor, Max. She'll handle your care effective immediately. Well, what if I want you? Welcome back to the hot zone. We are joined by the stars of New Amsterdam, Prima Ejima and Ryan Eggle. Welcome to the hot zone, guys. Hey, Thank hey, you. thanks for having us. Listen, I'm just so excited. We got the season finale coming up on Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everyone's looking out for this show. I love the show, so I want to speak to you guys. Now, Prima, let, let's start with you first. Like, Tell me a little bit about, like, how much fun have you had playing the character of uh, Dr. Helen Sharp, man? It's such a great character. Throughout the season, you've evolved so much. Tell us about that. How much fun you had? Thank you, first of all. It's very sweet to say. Um, I've, it just seems so, like, I don't know. I can spin out all the hyperbole in the world, and you just, I can't get across how much of a joy it is and has been. Um, the job from the very beginning, the ethos was almost like a, you know, just a, a no a-hole policy, yeah, <laughs> if right. I can say that, where, you know, yeah. it's just this mentality where everybody just is so respectful and so aware and so collaborative and so, such brilliant creatives that actually to just be in that environment where you get to contribute in that way and feel fulfilled and feel supported in the job that you're doing. But then, you know, you get to hang out with these people that you work with and form really, really uh, meaningful friendships. Um, I just feel incredibly lucky and, it mo you know, keep wondering if you're going to get that tap on the shoulder and it's like, yeah, this is all, <laughs> it'll come to an end, the bubble's burst. But um, for now, you know, it's just... Uh, it's a dream job. It's a dream job. That is awesome. It's such a great cast. And uh, Ryan, you play Dr. Max Goodwin. And that's a perfect last name because he's so daggone good. <laughs> and he's always <laughs> winning at the end, right? So how much fun are you having playing Dr. Uh, Max Goodwin? He's a joy to play. I mean, I echo everything that Freema said. You know, it's such a good group that we get to work with, you know, friendly, positive, uh, supportive people which is rare you know in, in any business in any job and um and max is just you know so much energy and so much drive to change the world and to help people and to make a difference and you know it's it's an inspiring character um to play and you know you see the response when you know people say hello on the street and just say you know i wish max goodwin was my doctor because yeah. <laughs> um it's such a, it's such a lovely aspiration you know wow now, the, the show has covered so many great, you know, very important topics throughout the seasons. And, you know, it's been, you know, systemic racism from COVID, you know, so many important topics. How important uh, was it for you, uh, Prima, to cover uh, the topic of systemic racism? During 2020, when all, all the stuff was going on in the world, um, particularly with Black Lives Matter, um, I was having conversations with David Shulner um, mm. about, because basically our show is so brilliant in representation and diversity. You just have to look at the cast. You, you know, our writer's room is so completely diverse. The directors we have in everywhere, you just see all these different faces and stories and cultures and experiences. And I think that's how you can authentically tell stories and, and, and speak in voices that ring true because you have a room of diversity. Right. It kind of 
know, it makes so much sense to the success of a show as well. If you're going to manage to reach a larger audience because you're including them, I mean, it's like a no brainer, but it's fascinating how rarely it happens. And I'm so proud to be part of a show that is doing that unapologetically. We've had some backlash from people that don't want to hear it and don't want to see it because it's too much like the news and social political commentary. And I, I love the way that David Shona, the producers, NBC, just keep moving in the right direction. And when David and I had this conversation about, you know, it went beyond just the show. Well, you know, they started looking at incentives of, of bringing in more black minority ethnic representation um, in the crew right. and in other areas of the city. How they can like, expand it to make this, you know, to make it really matter. Right. And I'm just so, it feels fulfilling to, to be doing it. And Ryan, I mean, playing, you know, a frontline worker, a, a, a doctor during these times of COVID has been like tremendous, like, and, you know, so much respect that we have for our frontline workers. And, um, you know, you actually came down with COVID, um, you know, last year, and thank God you beat it in your back. First of all, how are you feeling and how is it important for you to uh, cover the COVID topic on New Amsterdam? I'm okay. Thanks for asking. I, you know, luckily it was um, not fun, but not uh, not life threatening, um, which was fortunate. But um, you know, it was something that affected uh, all of our lives. Is still affecting our lives. Um, changed the way we do everything, um, and continues to. And uh, and I think doing a medical show that that, as Prima said, is is inclusive and 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 is topical. Does try to reflect the world we're living in as we live in it. We had to um, address it, and uh, Peter Horton shot this great uh, opening montage that really just was a few minutes to, to music, no dialogue, that just kind of captured some of the, the faces, the moments, the emotions uh, that our frontline healthcare workers have been going through. We're just a TV show trying to, to pay tribute to that, trying to honor that. But, um, you know, I, in the beginning especially, I think it was just a dog fight. We, we, we didn't know a lot about it and uh, people were trying this and that. There wasn't a tremendous amount of national leadership at the time and people were kind of on their own. States were on their own, counties were on their own, hospitals were on their own trying to figure this out. Um, and, you know, healthcare workers weren't sleeping. They were sacrificing time with their family. They were sacrificing so much to try to help so many. So, um, as Prima said, I'm, I'm proud to work on a show that, that, um, that was trying to reflect that. Everything I have done, I have done for you. Now tell me about this, both of you guys. In the finale, are your characters going to finally get together? Is Max going to go in and get that kiss from Helen? This show is called The Hot Zone, is it not? Yes, it is. <laughs> that, that should tell you all you need to know. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's a good one. There, there will be... Uh, Yes, it's coming. Something good is going down. We, we've been building towards something between these characters for so long. And, you know, Freema and I have, I, I mean, I have so enjoyed exploring these moments with Freema um, and just finding the moments in between and finding the unspoken and, and all those things. And so now it's, um, yeah, it's time, it's time to address it, shall we say. Okay, all right, okay, there we go. Well, we'll, we'll be looking out for that. The chemistry between uh, your characters is so great and so awesome, so you guys deserve to be together, so I'll be rooting for you. <laughs> You're lovely. Thank, thank you. you. Well, thank you so much. We will be looking forward to the season finale of New Amsterdam on NBC at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tuesday. Much success to both of you guys, and all the best to you in your future career endeavors. Thank Likewise. you so much. Awesome Thanks so much. See you soon.